Hey, Jason here from Any Man Fitness. Uh, thought I would make a little video for my clients, uh, give them a, a, a few more options. Um, as far as the macro counting goes and making sure that you're hitting your protein, your carbs, and your fat requirements. Um, one of the most frustrating things when you're trying to count macros is if you're short a little bit and you don't quite know what to do. And in all honesty, you don't really want to run for the pantry or the cabinet and just grab a tin of tuna or you know run and grab some honey and take some tablespoons of honey. Um, I've even heard stories of people taking shots of olive oil just so they can hit their fat requirement. And while it's important to hit the macros, we want to make sure that we're still having fun with our diet too. So if you ever are in a situation where you're short a little bit of this and a little bit of that and how do I get my protein up and how do I get my protein up in a cost effective way as well because protein costs a lot of money, I got to introduce you to a couple things. The first thing I want to introduce you to is something that I like to call the junk bowl. The junk bowl simply means you need a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Let's find a way that's tasty, delicious, is like a sweet treat that combines all those elements. The first thing that a junk bowl needs to have is some sort of a base. Uh, it's generally a protein base. Uh, I have two different bases that I like to use from time to time. One is this Kroger brand fat-free cottage cheese. Uh, I picked this stuff because uh, it, it has zero fat and just a few carbs. It has such few carbs that I don't even worry about counting the carbs. Plus, this stuff is cheap. Uh, on a gram per gram basis or a dollars per gram basis, this is the cheapest protein that you can buy at the store is fat-free cottage cheese, especially if you get the Kroger brand. So there's option one for a base. Option two I don't have an example of, uh, but that's non-fat Greek light yogurt. It's got to be all three of those things, non-fat, Greek, and light. And the reason we make sure that it's non-fat is so that there's no fat to worry about. We make sure that it's Greek because it has an increase in protein, the Greek stuff, over the light and fit garbage that they sell. And the light stuff ensures that there are such fewer carbs or a very small amount of carbs. So again, we, we won't worry about tracking the two, three, four grams of sugar that's in there. It's not going to matter. It's 10 calories. Who cares? So we have a base. We either have cottage cheese or we have that non-fat Greek yogurt light. And there we have our base. So what do we do from there? What, what do we build as far as our junk bowl goes? Um, a favorite of mine, if I like to add some taste, is to throw some protein powder in there. But this is very, very important. If you're going to throw protein powder in there, do not get whey protein. Uh, when I was a noob in the junk bowl making, um, I, I've used whey a couple times and it's absolutely disgusting. It makes it slimy. The consistency is gross. I, I still somehow choked it down, but it's not to be recommended. Go out and purchase yourself some casein protein. Um, I use Optimum Nutrition brand. Um, there are bunches of different flavors. There's chocolate, chocolate supreme, chocolate peanut butter. There's cookies and creams. There's fruity flavors if you prefer food, fruity stuff. I personally like chocolate stuff. But the casein has an excellent consistency when it's mixed with the yogurt or when it's mixed with the cottage cheese. You'll see what I mean. Uh, Amazon. It's half price what it is at GNC if you simply go to Amazon. So make sure that you get all your supplements from Amazon. Don't waste your money at health stores. It costs way too much money. So we got our base. We got our extra filler with some extra protein. And that pretty much takes care of that. So what do you want to do as far as the junk bowl goes? Well, hopefully you're able to sweeten it up with something. I prefer, personally, I prefer Splenda. If you think that Splenda is going to rot your insides uh, with all the chemicals, then by all means use Stevia, something similar to that. But I will go with some sort of a zero calorie sweetener just because I don't want to waste calories just making it sweet. But we need to have some texture, and especially if we've got a few car uh, carb grams left over. This is perfect after working out when you've got some decent carb grams that you need to make sure that you tackle. Uh, you know, um, here are some awesome, awesome choices. Uh, some of my favorites, we've got Cocoa Rice Krispies here, uh, we got Frosted Flakes, uh, Spartan brand, not necessarily a Michigan State fan here, but uh, I, I much prefer generics to uh, the Kellogg's brand myself. Frosted Flakes work good. Uh, Lucky Charms actually work really well. Um, you're basically looking for a cereal. First of all, processed 
what amounts to garbage like this. Uh, it's not going to have any protein in it, so you don't have to worry about that. But you want to look for something that's low in fat. So pay close attention to it. Uh, your Frosted Flakes, your Cocoa Krispies, uh, uh, your, your Rice Krispies, your Lucky Charms. Um, these cereal choices are all definitely low in fat. Now, if you want to go the Whole Foods route and you do, uh, are against eating dirty, so to speak, I-I-F-Y-M, if it fits your macros, but say you're not into the dirty processed foods and you want to go organic, very simply, you can throw some oats in there. That's a good way to add some texture to it. Um, got some organic raisins here that'll sweeten it up quite nicely um, or you know you can go the real whole foods route you can grab an apple you can grab a banana cut it up into little pieces um, and, and again you've got that sweetness that you're looking for there uh, as well um, so that in essence is a junk bowl and really a junk bowl is whatever you make of it just make sure that you can tailor it so that it fits your macros um, there's a lot of research out there that says cinnamon is, 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 is great is f for uh, insulin sensitivity and it helps you out with metabolic processes. I'm not sure how much I buy into it, but you want to throw cinnamon on it? Throw cinnamon on it. You know, knock yourself out. I've, I've seen people put Pop-Tarts in there. Go for it. Um, if you haven't can fit in your macros, you want to throw some, uh, I've heard a lot of good things about a PB2. It's like a peanut butter powder that you'll find in the organic section of your grocery store. I've never used it, but I might look into it soon. It sounds good. A good way to get some peanut butter taste without all of the extra fat and, and calories that comes with peanut butter. Which leads me to my next thing. That's a junk bowl. It's basically, you get a base, you get some protein, you get some carbs, and you junk it up. Um, if you need some fat in your junk bowl, here are some excellent ways to get some fat and make it taste absolutely delicious. Some nut butters, either natural peanut butter, I got almond butter here. One of the greatest foods you'll ever eat in your entire life is sunflower seed butter. It's absolutely fantastic. It's, it's seriously like a, a food unicorn. It tastes so magical. Um, so by all means, go for it. Um, the other thing that you can do is make something called a protein fluff. And protein fluffs work sort of in the same way, except for we put it into the mixer and like either a magic bullet or an actual blender or a food processor if you have it, and it fluffs it up. Um, again, there's generally some sort of a base, whether that's a yogurt. Um, I use cottage cheese uh, as far as my base goes. Um, and, and the powder is important as well. I generally go with the casein, same as, as I do with the junk bowls. Um, but... Uh, the whey and, and soy powders will actually work in this case because we're putting it into a blender to chop it up. Um, so as far as our protein fluffs go, uh, there are two main options that I personally go with. Um, the Reese peanut butter option is far and away my favorite and, and the ratios kind of work like this. You get two cups of cottage cheese to every one scoop of casein to every two tablespoons of peanut butter, splendid at a taste. Now, after you do that, that's not going to go through your blender, so you're going to need to thin it out a little bit. Some people use milk, some people use skim milk. Me, because I don't feel like tracking the calories or the macros that's in milk, I use unsweetened almond milk, and a full cup is like 40 calories. So I just use a little bit of it, not too much, just enough to smooth it out, put it in that blender, let it do its thing, and a lot of times I'll put it in the refrigerator overnight. You want to put it in your freezer for a half an hour. You'll have almost like an ice cream. It, it tastes fantastic. The consistency isn't quite a Reese peanut butter cup. But hey, you're on a diet. It's about as good as you can do. Um, so that's one of the recipes there. The other recipe that I like to use is cheesecake recipe. I still use uh, it, two um, cups of this and one... So two cups of, of the cottage cheese, one serving of the vanilla flavored protein powder, and then it's four tablespoons of sugar-free, fat-free cheesecake jello pudding mix. Okay, Sugar-free, fat-free, so we don't have to worry about those carbs. Uh, cheesecake jello pudding mix. Um, and you put that all in there, and then once again, you take some almond milk to thin it out. It's usually about four or five, six tablespoons of almond milk. It just varies from person to person. And you mix that all up in those ratios, and you put it in the fridge. That one, you can eat it right away, and it tastes delicious, but if you leave it overnight, you almost, almost, again, you're dieting, it's not going to be perfect, but you almost have cheesecake. 
And then you want to throw some blueberries in there. Awesome. You want to throw some strawberries in there. Awesome. In a perfect scenario, maybe you purposely make room with your fat macros and you got a little bit of room for some peanut butter. Take a few tablespoons of that natural peanut butter or almond butter or whatever. You toss it into that cheesecake batter and boom, look what you got. You got peanut butter cheesecake on a diet, which is an absolutely beautiful thing. So hopefully if you're short macros, that, that, that keeps you from simply running to the fridge and, and you know, measuring out four ounces of turkey because that's not much fun. You want to have some fun, and these are some ways you want to have some fun. So um, there's lots of junk bowl recipes out there, lots of, um, of uh, protein fluff recipes out there as well if you just want to use Google, but those are some of my favorites. Hopefully it helps you hit your macros and have fun while you do it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to tell your friends all about Anime Fitness.